Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Addition of pi pi star reactions, we saw first intermolecular addition of your alkenes, then we discuss intramolecular addition of your alkenes. Now, we will be seeing some intermolecular addition of your conjugate dienes. Okay. Sorry, intramolecular. Can take a dyne. So, I photolyze this directly, and I can photolyze in presence of sensitizer, triplet sensitizer. So, I can it's triplet sensitizer and directly. So, if I do directly. I end up a product uh, which is sort of intramolecular addition. Okay. I get two products which are just a top uh, intramolecular addition, but if I do photolysis in presence of sensitizer, then I get a sort of intermolecular addition. So, you get this products just you take diene if you do directly photolysis you get a inter in presence of sensitizer intra and inter you get okay intra in this case in this case inter fine. So, we will see how this works the mechanism. So, if I photolyze this directly, what happens? You get a type of zeterionic because it is a direct excitation. Yeah, this negative charge is overall like this hmm? within the double bond. So, it is not on the one carbon, it is like this. So, just to understand it that it is like this. Now, what happens? <coughs> you can end up with a can get this which in turn. gives me the product which one stage of my product fine. Yeah. Now, you know that if you take this butadiene okay, it exists both in trans cis when you take it. Yeah. So, it will be always in this type of equilibrium right. You have cisoid as well as transoid form. So, when you are irradiating, you are irradiating both the forms. So, in this case you are irradiating this form to get you. When I irradiate this one, because this is also in the solution.
look at this product so basically when you are uh, fertilizing this is direct excitation you get this two products okay when you do in presence of sensitizer then what happens Can you write the chemistry if you want to do in presence of sensitizer? What do you think? So, you are going to excite your molecule. So, what chemistry it will be? Radical. So, a double one inside. Get this radical chemistry, right? Then, what this radical does? Yes, addition with. It can add with your ground state, diene, right? A ground state diene, so it can add with your ground state diene. Yes, you get this. See again in this case it should be two products. No, I, my hydrogens can be in both the directions, right? So you get two products. But any like I can put my hydrogen because it is a radical chemistry. You can get different one trans and other way around of this because it is a radical. Uh, while it does a one four cycle addition, you can do other way. You can flip. So that is one. Fine. So, try for then other product, another product you get na? that is because you know it is existing again in two forms. So, if I fertilize this. And radical like this, okay. It can react with your ground state diene. Yes. This can then cyclize. So give me this product. So it's 
this looks see one I have taken that in a zwitter ionic manner, another I am taking in the triplet radical chemistry. Fine. So, <coughs> just you know that it has both the form like transoid and cisoid. So, based on that you have to do the addition. I am not doing anything, just adding across the double bonds, that is all. Fine. Hmm? Any, any doubt? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so, examples I will give you in assignments, huh? some examples on dyes, all these things. Whatever we did, we will give some examples on that. Fine. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, okay, fine. It should not have, sorry, sorry. Yeah. This should have, should not have this one. Thanks. Now, we will start uh, yeah, on, on the inter, intra and our dienes as well as aromatic compounds. I will give you an assignment where we have problems which you can do hmm, and submit. Now, we can do go to our photo isomerization of of benzene system. I think this is the first thing which you are talking about aromatic, right? So far, we have not talked any chemistry about aromatic systems. I think this is where we are introducing aromatic systems. You can see what simple benzene can do in light. Hmm? Just benzene, I am not doing what they can do. Just I am taking benzene, okay, directly irradiating benzene alone. What you can think about? Any idea what benzene on photochemistry gives? Huh? What? You get fulvine. Any other important molecule? Huh? Benzavalin you will get. You will get D bar benzene, prismane. Okay, get <coughs> you see how we get that products. See when you take benzene and if you this is how it exists in your uh, singlet state. Fine. So I can write this state can be can also be written like this, can also exist like this. Maybe it can exist benzene when you just shine light. Fine. So, <coughs> What happens here? What it can happen? Now we get minus plus. Huh? We can have a bond here, right? We can draw a bond. <coughs> we can write like this the best. The two hydrogens most of the time are up. What is this compound? 
Yeah. What this can happen? Now the war benzene. You think D R nothing happens to D R benzene? Again, it is a pi system, na? two pi systems you have. You can make a dimer ratio again. Yes. So, this you kill as prismane. So, benzene does lot of this the chemistries. Take benzene, you fertilize, you end up with a DR benzene. DR benzene can undergo again your addition giving you prismane. <coughs> nice to see this type of structures of benzenes. This you call as photo isomerization type of reactions. Okay. Then what this can do? I can make a bond here, right? What is that compound? What is this compound? This is benzavaline. Benzavaline. You have studied this. I think Dewar benzene, benzavaline, prismane, this all you have studied in, uh, earlier when you. But uh, as a photochemistry, this is how it comes. Like you take benzene to the singlet excited state. In singlet excited state, it exists more like a zeta-ionic. Then you can do in the states in which it can have resonance form. Then from each of the state, it gives you the product. Okay, this you should know. This uh, I think this is your first chemistry of your aromatic systems. You have not dealt with your alum aromatic system so far. I think this is your first system where you are dealing with aromatic system. Fine. Hmm? Okay. <coughs> now we will see some cyclo addition reactions of benzene with the same chemistry. Hmm? See, if benzene is alone, it does this chemistry. But with benzene, if you put some alkene or diene or anything, it can do cyclo addition reactions also. Okay. So, if I directly fertilize benzene, you know what you get. I, I might end up with plus minus of this, right, which can be in equilibrium to can get this three forms that you know. For example, I am adding a diene to this. C 
same diene, uh, just I take a benzene, I add my diene. So, I know benzene exists in this three forms and if I have my diene in the system, alkene sorry not diene, alkene, then what do you know? You get, what is this addition? I can do an addition across this, right? What is that? 2 plus 2 or 4 plus 2? Oh, sorry. Right, I can think of 4 plus 2. In this case, this is 2 plus 2, right. See, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you call it 4 plus 2 cycle addition, 1, 2, 2 plus 2 cycle addition. This is your three plus two. one two three. Okay, just adding across this. So I can think about four three products. Okay, yeah, I'm adding across this. I'm wrong. Yeah, you can. Oh, sorry, I have taken from here. Excellent. So, I can think of now three products one, four plus two, okay, two plus two, and three plus two. So, just I connect to this plus or minus. So, these are like, so you take just benzene, you put an alkene, you just shine your light, you end up with this three products, okay. One coming out from your 4 plus 2, one coming out from your 2 plus 2, another coming out from your 3 plus 2 cycle additions, reactions, fine. So, it is not sticks only for benzene, yeah, it does not stick only for benzene, you can do the same chemistry for other aromatic systems like naphthalene, anthracene, phenathrenes, pyrenes, okay. there are many chemistry in which you can follow. We will see some examples of that. So, what will be your uh, dominating product on this? You have a benzene, you have an alkene that is your acre alkene type of system. So, your 2 plus 2 will be facile product, right. So, I can write a nice 2 plus 2 for this. See why I am uh, working on benzene is most of the time people give benzene in the arrow mark, okay. They give an alkene, they put a benzene and they say photolysis. What you do, you end up in doing is just dimerization of your alkene. You never think about your photochemistry of your benzene. So, think that benzene is also a good substrate, okay.
So, what product we can think of writing here? Naphthylene. Naphthylene with your alkyl. Uh, it works 2 plus 2. Okay. Nicely 2 plus 2 happens here as the major product. Um, So, most of the time this 2 plus 2 works okay, when you take this aromatic system. 4 plus 2 works only for anthracene type of systems, but other system except anthracene I think other system they all go by 2 plus 2 cyclic addition. See the last example. What is this molecule? Yeah, phenyl. Yeah, this goes definitely with your 2 plus 2. Hmm? Your stereochemistry, how it looks to be? specific or yeah because it is from singlet excited state. You can keep it out anyway cross you can keep it out or you can <coughs> see that that is where your photochemistry gives you lot of advantage because of specificity. You can get chemistry which is stereo specific with a very good heat. And you have to and what about your reagent? Your reagent is very cheap. It's one time you have to buy your reagent, that is your lamp. You buy your lamp, that is your reagent, photon is your reagent, photon is very cheap. Just you do the chemistry with that. Okay. And you, you can change your reagent by using filters, right? And you can make nice things. So that's that's where it is. Nowadays I told you now the whole chemistry which we are talking this is done in a mercury watts lamp medium pressure mercury lamps uh, there are cases which i have told you can do the chemistry in cfl bulb hmm? that also then it becomes much more simpler okay i will um, that's what i want to after this i want to take you to pet chemistry where i am going to do the same chemistry by using cfl bulb Okay, not the side. You can do it depending upon your donor and acceptor. Fine. So that uh, so that sends up our uh, second important reaction of your pi pi star reactivity. That is about your addition type of reactions. We have studied inter intra of alkenes. We have studied inter and intra of dienes. Okay. Then we studied about photo isomerization of your aromatic systems. We have studied cyclo addition of your aromatic systems. Okay. Uh, but I am going to give you a lot of assignment on this basis. I have not given you an assignment, I will give you an assignment on this basis so that you have a lot of problems to work on it. Fine. Now what we will do, <coughs> we will get into a nest reaction which is simple, we have studied that, just we will see what happens. That is photosensitization electron transfer reactions which you have studied, pet chemistry.
photosensitization of electron transfer reactions. We have studied this in n pi star reactivity, right. I will just uh, re refresh you one more time. You can do chemistry with units like donor and acceptor. We call D mostly we call donor. So, how this chemistry works is that you have your R, you take a reactant, okay. you are not going to excite your reactant. right? So, what you are going to do is that you excite your donor or acceptor. Okay. If I excite, for example, I take my acceptor and excite my acceptor, what my acceptor does? my acceptor mostly come and interact with my R, takes an electron from my R right, and becomes, because it, it basically accepts an electron okay, to give me what? R dot plus, I get this type of intermediate species, which then react with the other substrate or with the solvent system to give me my product P dot plus. Now, what happens is that the acceptor which was which taken your electron, okay, it comes back gives the electron emitting same way the light out because it has taken the light and it gives, it gives the light back giving you my product. See, I, acceptor takes the electron okay, and at the end it gives the electron and makes the, uh, then it, it is in the system. So, you take a like like a catalyst most of the time. Okay. Same way if you if it is a donor, what donor does? Can be a plus na? other way around. So, I get an R dot minus, which can then give me P dot minus. So, this are the way it works, fine. Now we will yeah. now we'll see that what are this acceptor and donors normally look? What are this molecules you for acceptor and donor? See, if you want to do a chemistry okay, around like 254 or something like that, then I can think about a donor of Okay, one four dimethoxybenzene works nicely. Very good donor. Okay. If I want to do this chemistry around like 350, 350 nanometers, then I will think of uh, naphthalene based methoxy donors. Okay. No, sir, I want to do it in a higher wavelength even than regular lamps and regular bulbs and everything. Then you can even think of anthracenes. Very good donor this is. So, depending upon my donor, I can do the chemistry in 
wavelength which I wanted to do. Okay. And if it is an acceptor, yeah, instead of your methoxy, you might look for what? Good type of uh, the, the only problem with your nitro will be is that nitro is a very good uh, functional group for doing photochemistry. It does this nice functional group photochemistry. So, nitro involves in many of the functional group. So, people use try to use cyanos. Hmm? This 9 cyan anthracene is people use lot for photochemistry, 9 Cl. <coughs> See this donor and acceptor, okay, it is not only like uh, you are going to irradiate and longer wavelengths, but it say changes your reaction also completely. You take a same substrate, you do the reaction in donor, it gives you different product. If you do it in acceptor, it gives you different product, same reaction. In presence of donor and acceptor, the whole product will be changed. Okay. I will show you one good example for that. PS2, CS, yeah, phenyl phenyl. Okay. <coughs> If I do this chemistry in presence of acceptor okay, in methanol, yeah, your acceptor can be 9 cyan or anthracene or whatever it is. Okay, you do this chemistry. I end up with a product. <coughs> which is looking like what? anti marconif right? I get an anti marconif product, but if I do the same photolysis in presence of a donor, exact a donor, right? I end up with the uh, Markonif addition. This this is a type of anti Markonif and this becomes a type of Markonif. See the same chemistry is chemistry is same. I am taking a same substrate, photolysing in methanol, but in this case I used 9 cyanoanthracene, in this case I have used 9 methoxy anthracene. So whole <coughs> reaction has been completely changed. We will see the mechanism how it works. Okay. So, I have an acceptor. So, um, first condition is that I am exciting my acceptor, I am not exciting my substrate. What acceptor can do now? What acceptor can do? It can take an electron from your pi system, right. So, you will end up with P s 2 C plus C s 2 dot plus you get A dot minus. Yes, it can do because this is a pi system, you can easily abstract an electron from there. And this what happens to this now? Because this will be much more comfortable position for the molecule. Right, the radical get now stabilized much more better if it is in this way. C S two dot C S two plus. Fine. Now methanol comes into picture. So methanol can add with your C S two to give me P S two C dot 
PS2 Pro. Now tell me what will happen. Yeah, methanol can become OCS3. Just I want to know whether you are thinking about the schematic representation. Huh? What? Yeah. Now acceptor will come again to the. Nah? So acceptor will come, give the electron becomes acceptor. So, it becomes P S 2 C. Right. This can then abstract the hydrogen from ethanol. That's how. Just you should know that acceptor again comes to the picture, okay, and gives you an electron. Fine. Now we'll see how donor does other way around. What happens in the case of donor now? So, I am exacting my donor, what donor can do? Basically, we know that it can donate is to the pi system, so it be can become minus dot plus here to dot plus. Um, so, again you can say that I can write this, this will be much more stable. So, if it reacts with methanol, so this will abstract an hydrogen. I get P S two C H three there. Right. So now again your donor comes. Can get this electron back. Radical, sorry, to P S two. C plus CH3. Now, then it can react with your methanol giving you See, uh, this chemistry uh, has been recently, lot of people are working, many research area, research groups are working in this chemistry, not only photochemist people, those who are doing synthetic chemistry, they have started working on this area. Uh, because you can do 9 cyanoanthracene, it is plenty in available. Just you have to take 9 cyanoanthracene, you can do many type of aromatic uh, substitution reactions, you can do addition systems, everything. Right? I will give you one good example for addition systems. So, you want to fertilize this in the presence of an acceptor, I can take 9 cyanoanthracene. in water. Hmm? 
just you can do it in regular bulbs this chemistry because you have this this is a cyclo exchange which is available sodium cyanide plus water what product you expect what will be the product what you are thinking about addition of phi system no or what you are thinking of addition of water you are thinking about any other addition of water yeah, water it can water also reacts in this reactions it will be a you get this product simple product this is simple addition no, that you can do it does not need to be like you have to do it in your organic chemistry way just it just looks like simple straightforward reaction just in bulb you can do this reaction if you try the mechanism how it works can you try the mechanism just write down the mechanism how it works let us see system <coughs> except that that we have studied that it becomes minus so where you want to create radical where you want to create an carbonium and a where you think your radical will be much more stable I can write in two ways, right? Because I can write this phenyl radical plus, or I can write this as so. Your first one is right, yes. So, this you can get hmm? then what happens? your cyanide can act that so you will get your cyanide attack pH dot Cl pH dot Cl <coughs> after this yeah your acceptor comes into the picture See, this is the part you should not forget. Okay, so where your acceptor gives in there. We stop here and we'll think of doing some radical chemistry. Okay, uh, if you are not like trying, that acceptor will come back. Hmm? And it is in water, so. nice chemistry and um, now you know that the stereochemistry will not be preserved because it is going more like a radical chemistry fine ok yeah so that is about your pet chemistry um, Yeah, this is more about your uh, pi pi star reactivity. What we are going to see in pi pi star reactivity um, later. We now I think this is the most co commonly we have now n pi star reactivity. We have studied. We have studied pi pi star reactivity. In pi pi star reactivity, more most of your reactions are this one, like uh, it's cis and trans isomerization, which is very predominating. If you are a pi pi star system, cis and trans isomerization. You can think about. Otherwise, you can think about your dimerization. Okay. Yeah, pet chemistry you can know once there is an acceptor and donor. Once acceptor and donor is there, then you will think about your pet chemistry. Otherwise, the very possible reactions happens in pi pi star reactivity most of the time is your dimerization or it is your cis to trans isomerization. Um, 
See, next class may what we want to and uh, we will be thinking about is that we have to now study these are the common react, uh, general reactions. We have to now go to some specific one like uh, uh, what I want to start is some rearrangements which is very common in photochemistry. Okay. Uh, your dipymethane rearrangement that is very commonly happens dipymethane, azar dipymethane rearrangement that we have to study. Then what is the other important reaction? which you want to study photochemistry. Most of the time uh, this substrate will quench most of your photochemistry. What is that? It quenches most of your photochemistry. So, uh, we will do photo, most of the people do photochemistry by bubbling nitrogen in the system then only you can do this reaction. Huh? Yeah, your oxygen. See oxygen plays a very, so you, what happens to your oxygen? O oxygen in the ground state is triplet. So, it can react with many triplet reactivities because once you go to singlet, then from singlet you do an intersystem crossing to triplet, then this triplet oxygen can react with that. Okay. Same way you can excite your triplet oxygen easily to singlet. How you can excite a triplet oxygen to singlet? Any idea? You can use sensitizer mm -hmm. because that is what we said in no? you can how oh, what sensitizer you are thinking about? What sensitizer you are thinking about? Uh, yeah, that is a very famous dye. Huh? Rose Bengal. See if you take rose bengal, okay little bit of rose bengal and put it in the solution all your triplet oxygen once you shine light all your triplet oxygen will become singlet oxygen. Then singlet oxygen does n number of reaction it does in reaction it does diels alder reaction it does hydrogen abstraction reactions. So, so we have to study about singlet ox oxygen reactions. So, we will be studying some rearrangement here after we will be concentrating on rearrangement we will be concentrating on oxygen reactions then we will be concentrating on carbene. Okay. Carbene also you should know how, uh, how you can generate a singlet carbene and triplet carbene the reactions of carbene reactions. Okay. Then one more reaction we have to do is that your Barton reaction, hmm? Barton where you have a you can functionalize inert positions using Barton reactions. So, that, that then your photochemistry is more over is over hmm? then we will slowly get into sigma truth. Fine. Okay, thanks.